Welcome back to Making Sense. The program is designed to offer uh, an analysis of news. And in this week's edition, it's time again to, to talk about essential debate because it's normally an annual no confidence vote. It is the mechanism for checking the governments when their performance appears unsatisfactory. Mm. And normally, at least one fifth of the House of Representatives, or around 100 MPs, mm -hmm. are entitled to file a no confidence motion. Mm -hmm. And when uh, more than half or around 251 MPs mm -hmm. uh, vote against targeted minister, the, the no confidence vote will affect, will terminate uh, the, the status of that minister. Yes, eventually, yes. Um, I think the process of the centre debate or the no confidence motion um, that has been filed with uh, in Parliament. Um, it is, as you mentioned, um, you know, a system of keeping the government in check. And in this year, right, it, it's taking place tentatively this month, um, in the middle of um, this month, which is um, a week away. Right? But it hasn't settled officially when mm. this is going to take place, although um, the, the, the period of the centre debate has been tentatively set um, from the 16th to the 19th of this month. Mm. Okay, so it is roughly, you know, um, only you know a number of days away. Mm. So, um, but what's important about this? Um, what so what makes it so special? In in you know, it has a special place in Thai politics mm. as um, because you know it is um, a time when the opposition um, has that ammunition, mm. um, you know, to to. To, to get the government, to keep the government, you know, really in check, and then to to have the opportunity, mm -hmm. right, to um, expose the alleged irregularities and immoral practices or mismanagement by the government, mm. and this is the time when they think, um, you know, it is the most, well, it is the most opportune time for the government, for the opposition, um, to take aim at the go at, at the government, mm. and as far as we know, issues for for this year, central debate mm -hmm. deals with the mismanagement of COVID-19, yes. malfeasance, and so-called administrative failure of mm. the, 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 the governments. But specific details remain confidential. Well, I think um, it, well, it makes sense mm. to keep things uh, under wraps because um, at this stage, at this point in time, the opposition wants to, um, you know, to uh, well, they want to keep the information to itself because it doesn't want the government to know and mount, you know, a proper defence, and uh, it would look bad yeah. in the eyes of the uh, of the audience when um, the session is actually mm. broadcast. But um, I think um, so. But it makes people wonder as well, mm. you know, me included, um, whether the government has anything really substantive. Mm. In a way of uh, you know um, that they will need to launch uh, you know a meaningful um, attack, a central attack on the government. Um, um, is the government um, corrupt? Mm -hmm. Is the government really um, has really um, mishandled the na national affairs? Right. Um, it has spelled out some of, of the issues. COVID uh, mm. being one of them. Right. One of those um, central issues that is going to be raised um, with the government. Um, but this is, um, you know, something that um, we also have to look at mm. in detail um, because the vaccination, I think um, we mentioned um, in our previous um, edition about uh, the vaccination program and um, the timing of this um, debate also has a lot to do with uh, the vaccination, I think, because if you want to raise the vaccine, which is one of the issues that people can really identify with, can find most relevant at this point in time, then um, you have to look at them, what kind of vaccine program mm. uh, it is and, and how it is going to have any political implication. Of course, for me, I think that um, the vaccine itself um, could make or break the government, right? Um, it, 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 you know, because this is a very fragile issue, I think. Because when, when you think about it, you know, um, if you vaccinate people and a lot of people get sick, and if, you know, if God forbid, there, you know, there should be any fatality, you know, from this pro vaccination program. If, you know, it, it's going to, mm. the government will find it very, very difficult to explain to mm. people. And um, it's going to have a lot of, um, 
you know, and the government has a great deal riding on this, and um, it is going to have, um, you know, a lot of explaining to do mm -hmm. if something like that should happen, right? So, um, for me, the timing has, you know, is is really the essence here. Mm. So it's like you are saying that it is, it looks uh, untimely. Too I think, soon. I don't know about you, but I think um, mm. um, it's the timing is, mm. is is important. It's very important, in fact. Um, I don't know why um, the sensitive event has to take place mm. in February mm. last year. It was in this precise, precisely this month that um, the first. Um, center debate under, you know, within this administration to have taken place. Mm. So it was exactly a year that the, the center debate has taken place, right? Why February and not mm. March, not mm. April? Um, could could the opposition? This is a question for me. Could the opposition wait out a little longer mm. after the vaccination program has, you know, has been has started? You know, to make an assessment mm. and to, you know, to, to, to give people some idea whether, mm. you know, there is anything wrong with it. Because everybody in this country deserves to know, deserves the, mm. you know, to have the, the, the information, right? Um, and the opposition, we count on the opposition to, um, to dig out that mm. information for us and the, the time that, they, mm. that, that they're going to, to, to expose it. Is the you know during the central debate? So could that wait, mm. the session wait, until what uh, April or May mm. after the first vaccination, first batches of vaccination, oh. you know have, have come mm. out and rolled out? Mm. So timing is one of the challenges. What what are there any other challenges like public? Uh, no no the, the send off mistrust among yes. opposition parties. Yes. If you remember last year. Mm. Uh, some members of the, the now defunct Future Forward Party were left out of the, mm. the, 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 the censure debate because they were running out of time. Mm. And, and what, what, what happened after that? It was interesting though mm. um, to, um, to see the, the then the Future Forward Party, um, you know, all the heavy weights of the mm. uh, Future Forward Party they're holding a press conference right after the, the center debate to um, criticize mm, mm. the um, the Kuwaiti party, the, mm. the the main opposition Kuwaiti party. I mean, they are in the same block, mm. but um, you know, the the future forward obviously um, was furious mm. that it you know it's time to debate been taken away, not taken away, but been you know uh, the time was. There wasn't any time left for it mm. um, to debate a person of significance, mm -hmm. like um, oh, who was the target, um, like um, General Prawit, the, mm. judge, the deputy prime minister in charge of national security. Right? Mm. Uh, it, it it was really a pity to see mm. that opportunity mm. uh, slip away from its fingers because. Mm. Just because the Thai Party Hot hopped time. up, mm. allegedly hopped up all the time, mm. all the debating time, you know, you've got to remember that this is a session, a crucial session, when all eyes, you know, are placed on the government, on mm. the opposition, how they perform during the no confidence and session. But then, you know, to have that time, that precious time, mm. taken away, mm. and when you know. Um, the Future Forward Party thought it wasn't fair, mm. right? So um, it held this conference and it said, um, you know, there was uh, a quite a heavy degree of mistrust mm. Mm. going on between these two parties. Mm. So, but, but this time, uh, Pita Lim Chalelat, the, the, the leader of the Move Forward Party, which is the reincarnation of the, the Future Forward yes, Party, uh, has assured that they will set up, they will, they will work out and the opposition party have uh, set up the, the war room yes. in order to monitor and coordinate more closely in order to ensure that such problem will, will not happen again. Well, um, I think um, you can set up all the you know mm. war rooms all you want, mm. but um, it boils down to this very critical question: Are you still a united force? Mm. I mean, the are there cobras? 
are there any cobras? Mm. We're talking cobras. Renegades, um, right? Yes, um, the renegades, mm. right? Because mm. uh, as you could witness, as we witnessed in, a, in the last century debate, there were quite a few of them, mm. right? Um, the cobras, the, 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 opposition, the opposition and peace, the veritas, uh, in favor of the government mm, in the mm. censure uh, motion, mm. right? So um, that really came as mm. a surprise to people, mm. but not necessarily mm. for the political watchers or, mm. um, you know, political analysts, because they had expected mm. that, you know, some of the opposition party members would, you know, come out to, to, to vote. vote. Yes. And there are other, other challenges as well, like uh, the, the the, the opposition party are, uh, I think, I, I, I guess they, they must be under pressure to, to find solid evidence to, to undermine the government's legitimacy. Mm. For example, all I are now on the mishandling of COVID-19 because they are believed to, to, to recur again because of the smuggling of yes. illegal migrants exactly. and gambling dens. And yes. I think opposition party are going to use this as pretext to to question or to undermine the, the government, so they must find evidence to to expose yes. the link between those in illegal businesses and mm. uh, politicians. Yes, I think um, you made a uh, um, you know quite um, you know mm. important point here because mm. this uh, side issues, mm. you know the the the, the reasons mm. why the um, the, uh, the second outbreak has occurred mm. um, right at the um, the end of last year. I think. Yes. And um, the, the, the second out outbreak here, this time, is caused by, you know, um, the smuggling, the human smuggling, mm. um, the, the, the migrant workers mm. um, getting back into Thailand uh, undetected. Mm. And um, through, you know, the, the natural borders, mm. you know, the long borderline between Thailand and the neighboring countries. So a lot of people manage to slip through mm. this, the border areas, mm. you know, and came into the interior of the country um, without any kind of quarantine, mm. right? So, um, so some of them had brought um, the, the the virus with them, mm. and also uh, um, the gambling, the gambling dens, mm. right? Uh, they call it's a fancy word here. Uh. They call you know underground casinos, but uh, in fact gambling dens, you know, in some con uh, provinces. provinces. And um, these people just have absolutely mm. um, no interest mm. in keeping themselves mm. you know, safe, mm. keeping them, their health safe by you know, wearing masks. And so um, when you gamble, mm. right, you, you remove face masks. You, you're uh, in such excitement uh, to win, right, that you just do not uh, bother, couldn't be bothered to wear you know, any kind of you know, protective gear, the mask. Um, you know, face chills, none of that. Mm. So, and, and, and you're just, you know, rubbing shoulders, just shoulder to shoulders with the with person next to you. Mm. So um, you've got these people crammed into, you small. know, this small however, however big or small, but there is such a sheer number of people, mm. the number of gamblers crammed into one, you know, one mm. place. So um, it's really a matter of, um, of time mm. between, you know, one person you know, um, spreading the disease and the other people, you know, getting them. So mm. we've got clusters mm. of infections mm. happening. Um, people in the gang coming out of the gambling dens, you know, spreading, mm. infecting other people, making other people sick. So we've got traffickers, we've got gamblers. Yes, and, and so far, uh, Prime Minister Prayut chan -Ocha has set up two committees yes. to, to tackle gambling dens and uh, smuggling Have networks. they gone anywhere with <laughs> their inquiries, yeah, yeah, so with their investigation? Because critics say that it is not enough mm. and, and, and right now they, is the, they, they are calling for police reform. But, but the police reform bill is just, I mean, it's just underway. It will yes. be submitted next month. So, yes. so it's a long way. The police. Mm. Um, it is not going to take place overnight, but mm. the infection that we have has to be tackled immediately mm. now, here and now. So um, I don't think it's the right time to be discussing the mm. police reform at this stage. Mm. If the police have been involved, as a lot of people believe that they are, mm. in the smuggling of people and, you know, looking the gambling. other way mm. to the gambling dens, then, you know, 
put them in, you know, prosecute them. Mm. We leave the police reform for, you know, for a bit mm. longer. But what's the immediate, the immediate task on our hands now? What mm. is it? And there's, you know, when we talk about the center debate, right? The motion itself really raised, mm. um, you know, it, it was really something that was problematic uh, from mm. the beginning. Yeah. Yes. So, would you like to um, tell, uh, share with us um, uh, what that problem is? Uh, the, the opposition party claimed that Prime Minister Prayut Chan o Cha is uh, undermining mm -hmm. constitutional monarchy, where, uh, I mean, uh, democracy, where, where, where the king is the head of the state. Right, right. And the wording is problematic, I mean, from the point of view of mm -hmm. the, the, the government. Right. And what, what happened is that uh, the coalition government has decided to, to set up a, a legal team right. to file lawsuit against uh, opposition MPs who who, who, who raise this topic, who raise the, the the word monarchy in in, in the in the in the uh, in, in the motion, right. even if uh, House Speaker surely uh -huh. I insisted that mm -hmm. it can be included. In the yes, agenda, yes. I th I think um, 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 the government um, um, MP mm. um, Sirajin Jaka, yes. right, um, an MP of the um, ruling Palang um, Pasarat Party. I mean, he's uh, the one who spoke out against mm. government, against the sorry, against the opposition um, in including um, this particular phrase mm. in the motion. Mm. And the phrase goes, um, you know, mentions something along the line of. Um, you know the the relationship between the the people and the monarchy, right? Mm. Right there in the um, it's included in the motion, and um, never before mm. in any motion, censure motion, has there been any mention of monarchy, mm. right? Um, in that respect, so um, the, the, the opposition and the, the government in peace. Um, in particular, are not mm. very happy with this, and they said you reword it. The mm. opposition, please reword it. Mm. Um, we don't want to break from the tradition, and mm. um, and it is not proper mm. to be doing this. And um, the opposition, you know, said no, we're not going to do that. Mm. Right? This is our right. This is our way of mm. of of you know putting together this motion. So mm. it is going to stay. And um, what uh, happens is the the legal team will also file lawsuit against any what, what, what they perceive as for allegation against 10 cabinet ministers yes. who are the target yes, as well. Yes, yes. I mean, uh, the sources in the, in the position have said that um, you know, if the government has done something wrong, then target the government, mm. not any... You, know, you do not mm. um, go about you know, um, aiming your gun, so mm. to speak, or mm. you know, zeroing in your attack on something that is is other than the government, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. So, um, so this is the way that the government uh, is, to, is you know, is the government stand mm -hmm. how they stand on this, mm -hmm. and what they're saying here is um, the the thing about the thing about this um, central debate mm -hmm. that you know, has caught the interest of a lot of people mm -hmm. is. You know, they have put 10 people, mm. right? Mm. They, they, they have targeted 10 cabinet ministers. And, you know, after the motion, the, the, the problem that has occurred mm. with the motion, the mention of the people and, uh, you know, and, 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 and the monarchy. And now, right, um, the next um, potential problem is they they you know, I think probably targeted too many people, mm. too, too many cabinet ministers, mm, mm, right? Mm, mm, mm. Four of them, I believe, were, you know, the... The second grilling. Yes, um, mm. they, they, they faced um, the, the central grilling um, last year. Last year. In, in last year's central debate, and now they are, you know, it's a deja vu, mm. <laughs> right, for them. Mm. Um, and with addition to six other cabinet ministers mm. facing um, the onslaught this year as well. So, um... Do you think it, there, there are too many, simply too many people being targeted? Yes. Because we're talking about what four days? Yes, right? four days. If if they could agree, mm -hmm. right? Because it's the business of you know agreeing to disagree the central debate. Mm. And another concern is whether or not the the central debate will spill out of a, out of control. Mm -hmm. Because right now, just as we mentioned, that uh, the government is 
I mean some some like Sirat j i n j a k a or or, yes. or other pro establishment politicians. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. They are going to to file lawsuit against opposition MPs who mm-hmm. uh, who. For for violating the late Majesty i Charge, uh, Natapon t o b a y u n yeah, he uh, he is filing the 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 complaint uh, to to the EC mm-hmm. in order to to seek the dissolution of the the Move Forward Party yes. for violating the late Majesty Law. The investigators will you know will uh, will look at this and mm, from what angle mm, they're mm, going mm. to approach this and and, and, and interpret. Mm. Um, you know the situation, but um, I think you know. In the end, mm. it's the courts of law, mm. the police investigators, the prosecutors. Mm. You know, um, to decide mm. on this. Mm. Um, um, but it's just um, I was just wondering as mm. well. You know about the um, the this bailing out of mm. of the suspects. Mm. That is one you know important basis mm. for this charge. Mm. Um, is it really? Mm. Um, I mean, I, as an MP, mm. you know, it is. Does the law allow mm. an MP to bail out as many mm. people as they mm. as they can, mm. right? Mm. And um, um, of course, mm. they are entitled to do that, mm. Mm. right? It's it's not against the law. It's constitutional, perfectly mm. constitutional. Mm. But um, is there a limit mm. to how many people you can, you know, use your position to ah. bail them out? That's mm. that's my question, right? And um, I think um, we're going to have answer yeah. very And soon. Just last year, Natapon t o b a y u n he's the person who uh, filed the, the, the lawsuit again against the now defunct Future Forward Party mm. in the case in, in the case that is known as the Illuminati case, right. where right. because the, the the logo of the the now defunct Future Forward Party. Evoke that of the Illuminati right, sect, right. believed to to be behind the unseating of monarchy in Europe. <laughs> right. But 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 the court, the constitutional court, decided to uh, dismiss the the petition. Right. So we have to to see ha- whether uh, the the central debate will spiral out of control. Yes, it is. Um, it has the, that potential. Mm. You know that possibility to spill out because mm. um, you know. Um, You know, when you have a central debate, mm, there'll mm. be a lot of people wanting, um, you know, um, debating different issues. And so um, I think it's the wrap for this week. Um, so uh, until next time, keep it tuned here uh, for making sense, and we'll see you next week. Thank you for watching, and please, before we go, um, if you like us, if you like us, if you want to subscribe, please do that, and. We also welcome your comments. Thank you again for watching. Bye bye. Risk control has an essential role to play in international trade. A sound risk control system allows a company to sustain its business while enabling it to incur risks at an acceptable level, which in turn helps the company to maintain its competitiveness and commercial growth. More on that in an upcoming video. The role of PTT in international trading started when the company promoted energy security in Thailand by importing petroleum to meet domestic demand and exporting excess products to international markets. The business was extended to cover the area of international trading business in 1992. Starting in 1999, with higher price fluctuations, PTT started utilizing a financial tool called derivatives to manage price risk. In 2006, PTT restructured its governance and organizational structure to create check and balance system and promote flexibility in doing trading activities by implementing an international standard risk control mechanism. PTT's risk control people process system has been continually improved and reviewed by an international specialist organization to ensure its effectiveness and benchmark with leading practice internationally. This helps PTT risk control system to cope with ever-changing trading strategies and higher number of transactions each year.
PTT currently trades around 8,000 transactions annually, covering 1.4 million barrels of oil and extending to 1,200 trading counterparts. Risk control must be well balanced between controlling risk and supporting business. As such, PTT can manage to incur risks to an acceptable level so as to maintain competitiveness and commercial growth. Risk controls are therefore applied in relation to six areas. 1. Business partners 2. Pricing 3. Operations 4. Purchase or sell conditions 5. Internal and external laws and regulations 6. Finance Risk control has three dimensions. 1. Policy Policy and governance is set up in the global control format and acknowledged for implementation by all trading offices. 2. Organization structure Check and balance operation is initiated by organizing front mid back office structure. Employees discipline is a key success factor in effective risk control process. 3. Technology Technology is used as a tool to control risk efficiently. Presently, PTT employs the Commodity Trading and Risk Management or CTRM system as a center to gather trading information while the processing system gives support by providing reports relating to risk evaluation and risk warnings in real time. In conclusion, PTT's International Trading Unit has built a strict and strong foundation of governance and controlling processes. It has continually developed people, processes, and technologies and imprinted staff with operational disciplines to ensure efficient risk controls for international trading throughout 14 years of operations.